today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1834, Charles Darwin's expedition sees the top of the Andes Mountains from Patagonia. In 1845, Macon B. Allen and Robert Morris Jr. are the first African Americans to open a law practice in the United States. In 1852, the first edition of Peter Roget's Thesaurus is published in Great Britain. In 1854, Lincoln University in Pennsylvania receives its charter, making it the first degree-granting black college in the United States. In 1899, amazing American band leader Duke Ellington is born today. In 1901, Japanese Emperor Hirohito is born today. In 1902, Congress extends the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882, prohibiting immigration of Chinese laborers from territories to the mainland. In 1927, the construction of the Spirit of St. Louis is completed. It is the monoplane for Charles Lindbergh to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. In 1930, the telephone service between Britain and Australia begins today. In 1932, the longest running dramatic serial on U.S. radio begins. It is called One Man's Family and lasts until 1959 on NBC Radio. In 1937, the symbolic Golden Rivet is driven. It completes the Golden Gate Bridge connecting San Francisco and Marin County. In 1942, Jews are forced to wear a Jewish star in the Netherlands and Vichy, France. In 1945, Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun get married. Tomorrow, they will commit suicide. Also in 1945, the U.S. 7th Army liberates tens of thousands of inmates at the Nazi concentration camp in Dachau, Germany. In 1945 as well, German armies in Italy sign an unconditional surrender to the Western Allies. Also in 1945, Desmond Doss saves 75 wounded soldiers in the Battle of Okinawa at Hacksaw Ridge. You can watch more about this in the Oscar-winning film, Hacksaw Ridge. In 1946, 28 former Japanese leaders are indicted in Tokyo as war criminals. In 1954, comedian Jerry Seinfeld was born in Brooklyn, New York. In 1958, American actress Michelle Pfeiffer is born today. In 1961, ABC's Wide World of Sports debuts, and so did The Agony of Defeat. In 1962, at the 16th Tony Awards, A Man for All Seasons and How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying both win. In 1967, Aretha Franklin releases her version of Otis Redding's Respect, and it becomes Billboard's Song of the Year. In 1968, Hair opens at the Biltmore Theater in New York City for 1,750 performances. In 1974, U.S. President Richard Nixon said he will release edited versions of the tapes made in the White House. In 1975, Hubert von Ess takes the famous picture of the helicopter taking off from the roof of a Saigon building at the end of the Vietnam War. You have seen it. Also in 1975, Charles McMahon and Darwin Judge are the last two United States servicemen killed during the Vietnam War. I'm sure it is a distinction that they didn't want. In 1980, amazingly influential English director Alfred Hitchcock passes away today. In 1982, at the 17th Academy of Country Music Awards, Alabama, Merle Haggard, and Barbara Mandrell win. Also in 1982, American contract killer Richard Kuklinski murders pharmacist Paul Huffman by beating him to death with a tire iron. In 1983, Harold Washington is sworn in as Chicago's first African-American mayor. In 1986, the Los Angeles, California Central Library loses 800,000 books in a fire. In 1991, a tropical cyclone struck Bangladesh, killing an estimated 140,000 people and causing 10 million people to become homeless. Also in 1991, Don't Rock the Jukebox is released by Alan Jackson and becomes the song of the year. In 1992, after the acquittal of the Los Angeles police officers accused in the brutal beating of Rodney King, 53 people die in the ensuing riots. Also in 1992, at the 27th Academy of Country Music Awards, 
Garth Brooks, and Reba McIntyre win. In 1992 as well, Sheena Easton collapses on stage while performing in Man of La Mancha. You probably know her best for her song, Morning Train, in 1980. In 1994, a ferry boat smashes into the Mombasa Harbor in Kenya, killing over 300 people. In 1995, the final episode of Empty Nest is broadcast on NBC TV. In 1996, Rent, starring Edina Menzel and Tay Diggs, opens at the Nederlander Theater in New York City. In 1997, prohibiting the production, storage, and use of chemical weapons, the Chemical Weapons Treaty becomes effective today. Also in 1997, at the 43rd British Academy Television Awards, only Fools and Horses wins for Best Comedy and East Enders for Best Drama. In 2004, after 107 years of production, Oldsmobile builds its final car. In 2011, Prince William marries his longtime girlfriend, Catherine Middleton. In 2016, Canadian musician Drake releases Views, his fourth studio album. Also in 2016, Florida Georgia Line released their song H-O-L-Y, and it becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 2018, The Simpsons aired its 636th episode, which surpassed Gunsmoke as the longest-running scripted primetime show in U.S. history. Also in 2018, Sweden's official Twitter account confirms that Swedish meatballs actually originated in Turkey. No, say it isn't so. In 2019, over 700 people are infected with measles in the United States, which is the highest number in over 25 years. In 2020, a mile-wide asteroid named 1998-OR2 passes within 3.9 million miles of Earth. Astronomers would consider that very close. And lastly, in 2021, Brazil's official COVID-19 death toll passes 400,000 people. Hey, so thanks for watching today's episode. I appreciate it. I've got a lot more right in front of you and a lot more coming. I think we're done with about 25% of the year now. So many, many more to come. See you tomorrow.